Hi, I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and in this video we will talk about the best guitar knob settings for playing blues guitar. And you can see that we start out with the neck pickup. If you don't know what this thing does, it's the pickup selector and there has been another video on this channel about this exact topic, how to use the, the pickup selector and what the, the use are for the tone knob. So if you haven't watched that video, I would encourage you to watch that one also. But here we're playing on the neck pickup. And if you're after a very warm and wobbly tone, uh, uh, jazz and blues guitarists uh, from different sub, sub styles use that pickup a lot. It's good for mellow rhythm playing but also good for very warm uh, clean lead guitar playing. And it's very reminiscent to the Steve Ray Vaughan solos from uh, his ballad work like in Lenny and Riviera Paradise where he uses mostly the neck pickup to produce a very warm mellow sound and he also changes um, to this pickup whenever he needs a, a bit of a more sparkly sound in his playing. So those two are really nice for both rhythm and lead guitar playing uh, and clean styles, clean blues guitar playing. When we go to the middle pickup, there are a lot of guitar players that also use this pickup selection. And when we're talking about the middle pickup, we're also talking about players like Robert Cray. Uh, Mark Knopfler is also um, very famous for using this pickup position. <laughs> This position doesn't only work very well for clean lead guitar playing with a bit of a spark sound in, but it also works very well for rhythm guitar playing. So this pickup selection position gives us a bit more of a sort of a stable sound which isn't too warm sounding but it isn't too crystal, crystal sharp as well as this bridge position. And in blues guitar playing this position isn't used that much for lead guitar playing unless you're playing lower on the neck. When we were talking about the neck pickup position, we were talking about song Lenny from Steve Ray Vaughan, where he switches between the middle pickup, the neck pickup, sorry, and then the combination of the middle pickup and the neck pickup. And also, further along in the song and the solo, he uses this bridge position whenever he's playing here lower on the neck. <laughs> So we can use this bridge pickup position very well if we want to get more crisp out of our sound and especially when we're playing lower on the neck we're in that 
um, situation where we want more sparkly tones uh, because when using the neck pickup sometimes it gives less definition to our sound it's too much of a wobbly sound <laughs> So we can better use the bridge pickup for playing lower on the neck. Or even the middle pickup. combination of both the middle pickup and bridge pickup works fine as well. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up. This is greatly appreciated. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Then you get all the newest videos straight to your YouTube home feed. Also pay a visit to the website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com where you can download free ebooks and guides that will steer your playing forward such as a free ebook on how to play more advanced blues guitar solos.